In this video, we want to look at transitions and animations and what that means for your PowerPoint presentation. Now, a lot of times people get them a little bit confused. They think that transitions and animations are basically the same thing, and they're very similar, but they serve two completely different purposes. Let's first talk about transitions. Now, both transitions and animations are going to be found in my ribbon bar. We're going to go to transitions first, so I'm going to pick transitions. And then you'll see I have a variety of transitions that are here. Additionally, I can scroll down and find more, or I can click the little drop down arrow and see all of them right now. There are three major types if I do the drop downs you can see. Subtle, then an exciting, and finally dynamic content. So let's take a look at what these do. If I start off with my presentation, I put a transition. That means it's going to start from a blank slide and bring something in. For example, like that flip. I might have a rotation. And you can kind of see some different things here. I'm going to go ahead and pick none because most people aren't going to see that. A lot of times when you start a presentation, this slide is already up. So I'm going to come to my second slide. A lot of times you want something that's kind of subtle, I find. If it's too big and flashy, a lot of times people go, oh, what a cool transition. Instead of thinking and listening to you give your presentation. So maybe something simple like a basic fade. A reveal, which you notice goes through white. You can pick others. Each one has their own benefits, but their own drawbacks as well. While some of these are really cool, if I had 30 or 40 of these, it might get a little bit boring and tiresome after a while. So even though a lot of these look really cool, I personally prefer to stay simple and just do something like a fade with my transitions. Now my animations are completely different. My animation is after my slide is up, how do I want to bring in the individual pieces? So I'm going to select my box I'm going to animate. And I could do a simple thing like appear. If I want to preview this, I can use the preview button on the far left hand side. And notice they occur just real quickly appearing. I could choose to fade. This one fades one in each individually. Now, with the preview that it showed you, or if I click the preview button, they occur immediately. But if I look on the far right hand side, you'll notice that they are based upon actually a click event. So I would have to click and I have like little mini slides essentially, each one appearing one at a time. Now, once again, there's lots of different effects that I can use. I can pull this down for example. So there you saw a bold reveal, so where it bolds it as it comes in. I could choose a different brush color. Once again, make it so it's a little bit easier to stand out. I also have effects for what happens when they leave. So do I want to wipe, fade out, etc. So I'm going to choose, I want them to fade in on the appear. You know, it's going to start with on click. If I look at my far right hand side where I saw the on click originally, notice I have some other information, such as do I want to have a delay in it? How long is it going to take? If I drop down, I can do things like with previous, meaning that it's going to be tied to what happened previously, or after previous, meaning that after the last one finished, then this one's going to start automatically. Under my effect options, I have a couple of options there as well. For example, I could treat it all as one object, or maybe doing all my bullet points at once. Now, that's not a real helpful thing. Personally, I like to do it by paragraph, or in this case, by bullet point. And that way, I can talk to each bullet point individually moving on a nice pace, and then move to my next slide. 
when I go to my next slide, notice there's nothing really here to do as an animation. This is where I choose a transition. And when I have a transition selected, you'll notice that on my slide preview on my far left hand side, that there is a little icon. This lets me know that there's a preview attached to this. With animations, you don't see that. This one had animations. Instead, you see the animation and the order beside each bullet point or other objects, as you can add multiple objects to this. So you can fade in an image along with some text, etc. So this is a nice basics on how to use some animation and transitions to give yourself a little bit of flair when you're working with your presentation. The key thing is, even though it's really cool to do some of this, don't overwhelm your viewers. They'll thank you for it if you keep it simple and let them focus on your presentation.